Hi, I'm going to demonstrate basic Unix commands for navigating around a Unix Linux environment using only the shell. Uh, this is a shell. It's a place where you can run commands and have the system give you results back. The first thing I'm going to do is use SSH. SSH is secure shell which will allow me to connect from my machine to the remote CAC cluster. So in this case I'm going to run SSH my username at flux-login.engine.umich.edu ask me for my password and I am now logged into the CAC cluster um, I am on one of the login nodes notice how the host name down here has changed it um, this shows that commands I run now run on the remote machine not on my local machine so basic commands for getting around. The first command is pwd. pwd shows which directory you're currently in. When I logged in, it put me into home Brock P. This may be something different, but when you first log in, you're put into your home space. If I want to change to a different directory, the command you use is cd or change directory. And for this, I can follow with a directory name. So cd uh, if I want to go to the bin directory, I go to see bin. If I run pwd, I'm now in home brock p bin. Uh, notice I did not prefix bin with a slash. If I do that, it starts at the beginning. If I start without a slash, it's relative. So it was looking where I already was with bin. If I start with a slash, it's going to try to go to a different bin versus the one in home rock p bin. So the system is a hierarchy. It starts at slash and you have folders in slash and you have folders in those folders and folders in those folders. There's a special shortcut called tilde. Tilde automatically means my home directory. So while some users are in home their username, in my case home rock p, and others in home two I can instead refer to tilde and that takes me to my home directory. So if I go to another location, say um, no backup, the scratch file system on our cluster, Brock P, and I want to go back to my home directory, I can do cd tilde and that takes me back to my home directory automatically no matter where that is. Now say I wanted to create a new folder um, say test one, I would want to make a directory. And the way I would do that is mkdir, um, and I want to call it test one. I would call it test one. That would create a directory, and I could now cd into that directory. If I wanted to list all the files in a directory, I would use ls. This is the list command. Test one, being an empty directory, has nothing in it. If I go back to my home directory, and run ls, it will show all the files in that system. If I want to move a file, uh, I would want to use the move command. This is also used to rename files. So if I want to move this file to my no backup space, I would do move source, in this case the file name, and then the destination folder. So I want to move it to my no backup space. If I wanted to give it a different name, uh, I would If I wanted to give it a different name, I would um, move the file to the same location, but instead of ending with a folder name, I would give it a new file name. If I want to look at just a single file, I can do ls the directory and the file name, and it will list me that file. If I want to copy a file, it's the same thing, but I use the copy command, which is cp. So cp is for copy, and I would copy my source file. Or um, I can copy my file to a new name. or I can copy it to 
a folder with the same name or with a different name. If I want to copy an entire folder, I need to do it recursively. To do that, I do copy minus R, the folder name, and the new folder. That will copy all the files in that folder. If I want to list all the files with size information, I would do ls minus l for long listing. This will list all the files and directories along with their permissions, who owns them, and their size. If I want to make this in a more readable format, say I wanted to see this file here instead of the number of bytes, but in a human readable format, I would do ls minus lh for human readable that file name and it gives me that it is 1.3 megabyte or I could do it for all files by leaving off the file name and it shows everything if I want to delete a file I would use rm rm the file name so say that original file I want to delete I would give it the file name I can either give a whole path again or just the file name and that file is now gone 